Let the devil out. You can count me out. I like to make a toast. On 10th April 2015, Marvel introduced us to its dark side on Netflix and we fell for the Goliath of a franchise even more. With no time to focus on spandex, aliens, futuristic armors or thunder gods, Marvel welcomed us into its world of dark and shady pessimism. A world where unicorns were not farting rainbows, a world where the cape was not frequently flying around, a world where a simple lawyer with a special disability turns into a vigilante at night. I can't see, not like everyone else, but I can feel things like a balance, the direction, micro changes in air density, vibrations, blankets of temperature variations. Mix all that with what I hear, subtle smells. All of the fragments form a sort of impressionistic painting. Although the series felt completely different from other MCU projects, the world on fire. It existed firmly within those confines. But instead of linking with the multi billion dollar universe, the showrunners only used references to develop a real connection. As I was telling your associate, this office was barely touched by the incident. The uh, incident, is that what we're calling it now? Well, it sounds so much better than death and destruction raining from the sky, nearly wiping Hell's Kitchen off the map. I mean, if he had an iron suit or a magic hammer, maybe that would explain why you keep getting your asses handed to you. For the first time, we got a superhero who didn't hold back his punches. who was not afraid of torturing his victims <laughs> who went almost over the edge to take a criminal's life. Is he dead? He'll live. Matt Murdock may be a faithful Catholic, but the devil of Hell's Kitchen believed in delivering punishment himself. The most interesting part of Daredevil is character development. Daredevil focuses more on the origin of the blind, faithful Catholic boy rather than the origin of a superhero. His flaws, his vulnerable nature, and his inadequacies are sometimes shown as advantageous points for the character because these qualities are what make him more human than the other MCU characters we saw on the big screen. Come on! Kill me! No! God knows I want you. But you don't get to destroy who I am! The relationship Matthew shared with his father, who taught him how to take a punch, is priceless. We're Murdoch's. We get hit a lot. But we get up. Right, Dad? We always get up. Whereas the reunion with his mother in the third season is depressing and saddening. Our son is too much like you, Jack. Now coming to his helping hands, Foggy and Matt seem to be friendship goals, Karen and Matt's relationship from attorney client to close confidence to being in a relationship sounds completely messed up, but it's not. Claire as the head nurse of Metro General Hospital and a good Samaritan tries to do her part by helping Matt patch up. Here we go. This is gonna hurt. Uh, 
and ends up being romantically involved with the vigilante. Even Father Lantum gave his life for Matt because he was almost like a son to him more than he was to stick the blind old guy who forged Matthew into the weapon he was. <laughs> Took you 20 years to learn how to get out of that one. The devil of Hell's Kitchen kept on committing mistakes like falling in love with Electra stopping the Punisher from killing the criminals no killing. Alter boy. failing to save Ray Nadim and we kept on falling in love with him more and more. Other than that, Ben Ulrich's earnestness as a reporter There used to be a time when the people in this building wrote the hell out of the news. Stick's eagerness to end the fight between good and evil Yaminote, it means the hand. I give him a name, the chaste. Electra's bloodlust <laughs> and Frank's pain for missing his family, every character's emotion seemed genuine. Now coming to the other part of Daredevil, we have Wilson Fisk. Though his screen time is not as much as that of the Devil of Hell's Kitchen, we can surely agree that half of the fame Daredevil received is because of Vincent D. Onofrio's portrayal of Wilson Fisk. His character is developed as that of a boogeyman in the first few episodes. You can also say like Voldemort from Harry Potter. Tell Mr. We don't say his name. You ever heard the name Wilson Fisk? No. Tell Mr. We Fisk don't say his name. And yet the shy lonely man is capable of appreciating art and falling in love. You don't do this much, do you? No. His fondness for his right hand man Wesley is clearly shown when he finds that he has passed away. Even the villain capable of loving someone wholeheartedly was a great depiction in Daredevil. Whether it was Wilson Fisk trying to win over Vanessa or Point Dexter creepily spying on Julie Barnes in his car the villains and their love interests were shown meticulously in Daredevil. Now if we are talking about action sequences, we have to mention the hallway fights. Whether it's Matt Murdock fighting the Russians to get to the kidnapped kid in season 1 or the stairway fight in season 2 after the arrival of Punisher, every sequence is gory, brutal and excellently choreographed. Even the Punisher's fight sequence inside the jail when Wilson Fisk abandons him, every punch, every kick seemed more real than real. Point Dexter's accuracy was praiseworthy, Nobu's ninja techniques were authentic and we always wanted more of those. Last but not the least, Charlie Cox erased the horrible image of Ben Affleck's daredevil from our minds and we are eternally thankful for that. Ardent fans like us are excited for the new Disney streaming service and we all want the daredevil show to continue and find its new home there. And we want our favorite Charlie Cox to wear the suit of the Devil of Hell's Kitchen as Charlie Cox is Daredevil and Daredevil is Charlie Cox. Period. Lawyer by day, vigilante by night. How does that work? Yeah, I'll let you know when I figure it out. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Click on the little bell icon to be notified whenever a new one comes out. Don't forget to share this video with your friends. I'll see you guys next time.